thought I'd do another video so it's been quite a few months since the um, previous one but um, as you can probably see the, um, the workshop's been cleared out quite a bit and the various things have been sort of rearranged so now I've got the two Skoda based buggies in here and um, I've also managed to actually finish building a trolley for Fairbanks more 6 horsepower <laughs> So um, my most recent purchase though, this um, small Bamford engine here, air called Hit and Miss, is actually um, from the Woodford Auto Jumble about two weeks ago. The person actually brought it down from North Scotland, I think he had about an eight and a half hour drive. But yeah, um, hopefully in this video I'll get it running, um, just for a small amount of time because I don't want to run it too long. Um, you know, just try and do a full sort of restoration on it. Right, so I've actually just um, gone through all the oiling points, refilled all the greases and everything, and it's actually turning quite well now. Um, I've actually also managed to get a bit of a spark out of the magneto as well. Let's see. Not sure if that's showing up on the camera, but I could definitely see it here. Right, now I'm going to just put a bit of fuel in there, put the plug back in and see if it does anything. So they got a good compression as well. That's good.
So it's been about a week since the previous video where you saw it running. So it was running okay, but it was quite fast. And um, also in regard to it actually hitting and missing, whilst it was missing, all of the fuel was actually running back down from the carb into the tank. Because this is the um, fuel pipe that was on it. So they should really have a, um, a one-way valve on the end to stop that from happening. So since then, I've actually just finished making this here. So should hopefully solve that issue. So next time you see it running, it should actually uh, sort of hit and miss virtually every every time, and um, not have multiple tries at hitting. So hopefully that should have sol solved that problem. I'm also going to actually uh, try and slow it down a bit. So at the moment it's got two quite hard um, springs on the governor mechanism here. So I'm going to be taking one of those off just to um, loosen these up a, a bit because they're uh, yeah, quite difficult to um, move. But hopefully that should slow it down a bit. And hopefully that will be the, the next task. So just got to do a few more modifications on the fuel tank and get all fitted and then hopefully should be working perfectly fine.